geothermal zoning system. How does the zoning panel work with the dampers and the equipment? How do you use your meter to check and see if the damper is powered open or powered closed? How do you know if the damper is opened or closed? Today we're going to be learning something about zoning and this geothermal system and how it works. Before we start, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. If you want help with your project or tech support or a geothermal guide that I can send you to help you learn more about geothermal, click the join button. Become a member. Let me know in the comments. Say, I joined. I'll give you my email, and then that'll lead to contact with me, and I can send you that guide if you want it. If you're not a subscriber, become a subscriber right now. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. If you're a member, you're awesome. I love you and I'm gonna do content to specifically help you. Remember, I've got a playlist, members only videos. There's about 30 videos on there and videos for aquaponics and HVAC, so don't forget to check out that playlist. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and let's learn about zoning. Now we're gonna check the dampers out, make sure they're open. Water furnace and telezone panel. This is what controls the dampers, because this is a zone system. You can see on the back here. You can do a little reading. You can see zone one is here, zone two, zone three, zone four. And this controls our dampers. It's uh, three wire. We got open, common, and closed. So if we have common power to common and open, it should open. Power to common and close, it should close. So on this system, I think we've got three dampers. And this is the 24 volt power that feeds our water furnace unit, okay? These are all our uh, connections. So zone one, this is what our, uh, our thermostat connects to. So let's take a look at this real quick. All right, so thermostat connects here. We've got a call for first stage, second stage cooling and fan. And then of course, our reversing valve because it energizes in cooling. And the power we're sending to our unit is we're energizing the reversing valve, the fan, and then first stage cooling. Okay, so this is our three thermostats, and then this is our uh, three zone dampers, and then this is our power for our dampers that is supplied from our transformer of our equipment. And let's see, what else do we have here? I think that's about it. All right, now, Let's get the meter out and make some checks. Okay, so we should have only one zone damper open, okay? And that damper should be zone number one. So we should have a uh, 24 volts from the common to the open terminal, okay? Because thermostat number uh, two and three, we don't have a call yet, right? Okay, so we're gonna make sure we have a call. So you see the C and the Y. We're gonna check those two terminals real quick and we should have 24 volts. All right, 24 volts. Take away the wire, okay, no 24 volts. All right, so we've got a call, now we're gonna go over to. All right, so the only damper that should have power should be zone number one. So we're gonna check from common to open. Should have voltage, all right. Otherwise, it would be common to close, like this right here. This is zone damper number two, and it should have voltage common to closed, all right? This one should too, common to closed, all right? So those two have power and they're powered closed and this one's powered open. So this one's powered open, these two are powered closed. All right, we're gonna check zone damper number one and make sure that zone damper one is open and zone damper two and three are closed because we have, uh, these have power to the close this one has power to the open, if that makes sense. Now, where are the dampers? All right, so this is zone damper number one. You can see we've got three terminals here, and it's in the open position. You see how the arrow's pointing this way? That means this damper's in this position. If it was this position, it'd be closed, but it's open, so it's powered open. Now, that's zone number one. This is zone number two, and it's in the closed position. All right, now let's check zone number three. That is zone number three, and you can see it is closed. All right, dampers are working well. Zone panel's working exceptionally well, so we're in good shape. See, thermostat two and three are still, there's no call, only 
thermostat number one is calling. So only one zone should be open. Now for zone damper number one, this one should be open from one to three. One is common, three is open. We're gonna check from one to three here, should have voltage. So it's powered open. Now from one to two, we should not have voltage. So one to two, no voltage. Let's go to the other damper and make our checks from one to three. Now on this one, it's closed, should be no voltage. So it's not powered open and that's why it's closed. That's how you check the power to the damper. Also forgot to cover this plug. This plug right here travels alongside the unit. It goes into the equipment and then it plugs into the blower motor. So if you have a problem with your blower motor, remember that in between the blower motor is this panel. So don't forget to troubleshoot the panel when you have a problem with the geo unit that has zoning. So it has dampers and it has different zones. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments if you did learn something. What did you learn? If you don't have any questions, that's okay. Let me know who you are and where you're from in the comments. I love to know all my viewers. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.